Now let's have a look at dealing with those group nodes. First of all, I'm going to get the group one node from root level using nuke.2 node. And uh, this will put the group node into the variable my node. So if I just quickly run this, you can see we've got the group object here. And once again, using nuke.all nodes, we can now specify a keyword called group and feed it our group node, like so. And get rid of the typos. And this will actually shift focus away from the root level for only the nuke.all nodes command and return all the nodes inside of the group instead. So if I run this, we get the list of all those nodes. So once again, let's print their names. And here we are. So these are all the nodes inside the group node. We can combine this with a filter if we want. So if we only want to get the card nodes, these guys, if I just bring up the info viewer for a second, these guys are actually of the class card2. So let's say my filter is to read card2. We can now get all card nodes inside of that. And in fact, if we use a filter anyway, you can skip the keyword and just use filter followed by your context node to get the same result. Unfortunately, nuke.selected nodes doesn't support the group argument. So what you can do is instead of using nuke.selected nodes, you can use node.selected nodes. Group nodes have the same method called selected nodes. So instead of nuke. Dot, we simply type my group dot selected nodes and execute that and that will return all the selected nodes inside of my group. So if I change the selection here we get the respective names. The problem with this method is that node dot selected nodes doesn't support the filter argument. So if you wanted to filter within a selection within a group what you should do is import the with statement from the future package. So let's have a look at that. So first we need to import from the future package and the with statement is what we're after. So once we import that at the very top of our script we can now use the with statement to basically shift focus on the fly. So we can say with my group to shift focus from the root level to my group and now my group is the base level for the entire code block that we type. So now we can use nuke.all nodes, nuke.selected nodes and all that and they will actually refer to the my group node. Let's try that. Nuke.selected nodes and we only want to get the card two nodes in the selection. Select the whole thing and run the script. Well, in order to see something we should probably print the names again. Like so. And this returns an empty list because we haven't got anything selected. So let's select something and run that. And you see it now returns the card nodes in the current selection inside my group one node. Once you're dealing with the with statement, you can also use nuke.this node to get back to the current root level, so to speak. So the current context of all your commands. If you go nuke.this node and type its name and select everything again, you will see this returns group one now because this is the current context. This is important for uh, Python callbacks later on and also in some expressions because if you use Python in expressions this is the way to reference to the current node that the expression lives in. And another neat thing that you can use is nuke.thisParent and this will print the parent of the current node. So if I run this, I'll actually run the whole thing with the import statement again, this will print the nuke path because the parent to group one is the root and the name of root is the actual path to the script. So how about we try to go one level deeper into the group two node now. We can do this by name concatenation as well. Let's say we want to change my group to be 
group 2 we can do this by saying nuke.2 node and instead of just saying group 1 we go group 1 dot group 2 so we say we want to go into the group 2 node that lives in group 1 and if you want to be extra careful you can start the whole thing with root dot so this is the entire node name inside the script starting at root you go down one level to group 1 and you retrieve the node called group 2 so if we run this first and now if we run the whole thing actually you now see that the current parent this parent now returns group 1 because now we're inside of the group 2 node and while we're here let's just quickly run the nuke.all nodes command again to see what's inside of group 2 And that shows us that there's an output, two blur nodes, and an input node. So if we switch over to that node graph, in fact, that is what it is.